welcome back everybody this is always back with another video on the channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can generate a documentation for your angular project so here i have angular project open i would like to show you the documentation first that you can generate so i'm going to run a script npn run compo doc that's a script coming from uh, my package.json file let it run and then I'll show you what can you expect from uh, this video actually. Now when I say a documentation, not a simple documentation, it's a pretty cool documentation. So I'm going to click on this URL and there you go. I have my documentation getting served from uh, Compodoc. So here you can see the overview of your application. Let me zoom in a bit. Now this application is pretty big that's why you can see there's a lot of component services and lots going on here in the overview page you can see how many modules you have in your application components directives injectables and interface and so on right you can see all the dependencies are required in your application let me take you to a module a module is where you see all the modules I'm going to click on this app module it showed me this nice diagram i'm going to click on this button and here you can see it has a app component it has some other modules as well getting injected also it has token interceptor service as well down below you have information about your module so it has a declaration i'm going to click on app component it takes me to this component which it shows me all the information about this typescript file it tells me constructor function and all the properties that are there also you can click on source template style to see the source code let me go back to app module actually it's auth module now so here you can see how many modules are getting injected into auth module how many components are there here we have imports and declarations i can see the source code you see this is not a general documentation it's a full web page showing you the whole project how it's coming along together all the components modules services how it links together so here i have some directives a component so i'm going to click on this uh, let's just say opt panel component here you can see the properties available in that now you can write your custom messages and custom stuff for your documentation i show you all those things in a second okay um, let's go to injectable i'm going to show you this art service and here i have a constructor function all of the parameters that are there i can see those i can see all the methods available now let's just say that you have a login function you want to give uh, some sort of information about your parameter you can do that as well so here i have this login payload let me take you to the code and i'm going to go to auth service i'm going to find this login function now here it basically showing me just a login function it doesn't really show me any other things like parameter description and stuff like that all of these things are getting generated using js doc so i'm gonna go right above this login and i'm gonna type slash static static i'm gonna press return now patchup is pretty smart it automatically read my function and it saw that there is one login payload parameter it used this js doc tag here and i'm going to write some information so let's just say a payload this is the payload for login also i'm going to write some description here for my login function this function is used to gen to login user let me save this file and now you can see the documentation server is constantly looking for the changes let's go back there I'm going to find the login function again and this time you see i have a description here i have a description for a parameter as well it also tells me what is the return time for that now let's go through the let's go through the the installation process first so here i'm gonna take you to compodoc website so you gotta go to compodoc.app and here you can click on getting started it shows you how you can install i'm going to quickly show you it's pretty simple you just go and write this script 
to your terminal it's basically getting installed to np and you can install it globally or you can install it locally okay once you install that you will see that in package.json file so let me open the package.json file and in dev dependencies i can see compodoc somewhere here so there you go it's the uh, compodoc version 1.1.11 okay now i'm going to take you to the documentation and it's clearly telling you please write this script into your uh, script tag of your package.json so you can run that now this is pretty simple it's basically uh saying npx compodoc dash p which asks for this typescript file and it will generate that but the way i'm generating is a bit different here i'm running a server so there are two access tags that you need so here is the same script npx compodoc dash p and i'm pointing out where is my typescript file and dash s which basically tells it to run a server and dash w which says hey don't uh, close the server keep looking at the code and if there are any changes please update the server okay now once you run this script it generates this documentation folder automatically which you can see there's a lot of javascript file and html file it's like a web page of your angular project now what i usually do is whenever i write a function I make sure that I write its parameter, its description, its return, and also some other information about the function, what it does, okay? So that's how I can generate a documentation. And this is really helpful when you're working in a big team. Anybody can look at that documentation and it can, you know, find out how the things are linked together. So let's say this is an HTTP service. I have a method here, handle error. I've got this parameter error and self. As you can see, I didn't write any description, but I should have written any description. It also tells me the type of that. And if I click on that, it takes me to that interface. So it's not just a static text. It will have some URLs, which can take you to services, uh, guards, and other stuff. Here I have a routes. A routes here are basically kind of empty here because the way I'm generating routes are a bit different. I have a separate file, so that's why it's not actually showing me. But when you generate routes, it will show you the whole application with DOM tree, how the routing is uh, looking at your application. Now here I have some variables or enums. So let's click on enums. Here you go. This is the file. I have an API method. So get post put and have some endpoints here as well okay so this is really really great so make sure you document your project and also now it's time for me to show you some extensions if you're using pycharm or webstorm you will have this uh, automatically jstock automatically installed now what Compodoc is using is basically this JS dog tags. So if you go to the documentation, you can see all the supported uh, JS dog tags are available here. For example, let's zoom in a bit for this one. So here it says example or param for your parameters, return for your return types. Okay. Now, the good thing is that you don't really have to manually type this. So, in PyCharm, you let me find another register function, for example. I'm going to write another parameter here. So, I'll say ABC, it's going to be a string type. And let's do XYZ. Let's just do a number type. And I'm going to change the, you know, uh, change the return type from wide to let's just say string okay now once i've done this i'm going to type here slash static static and i'm not going to type everything i'm just going to press return on the mac or enter on the windows and you can see it automatically detected my function and its parameters 
Now, obviously, you need to uh, write some stuff on your own because it's not going to write a description for you. So you got to write the description for you. Now, not many people use PyCharm or WebSol. They're really, really great. They gives you a lot of uh, you know features. But one thing I want to show you here because a lot of people use a VS Code. Okay, now VS Code does work better than the PyCharm or WebStorm or whole IntelliJ, uh, you know, ultimate product. So same project I have opened here in the VS Code. So let's find this util function or maybe I'm going to try finding the same auth service here. And I'm going to go to this register function. Okay. Now here you can see it's returning a string type. It's giving an error because I'm not actually returning string. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on this function and I'm going to type option control V. Now once I type that, you will notice that all of the tags with their return types are automatically written. Also, it wrote a member of auth service. Okay, now I'm gonna save this. PyCharm is actually running and it's going to update the documentation. Now it updated it. Now we're gonna go to injectables and I'm gonna go to this auth service. I'm gonna try finding this register function. And there you go. Now here I have all the parameters. Okay, I have a defined path. I have all the parameters. Now I have all the types and return type written as well. Now basically a member of is telling it that this function is basically a member of this art service. Now if you want to type some description here right after your param tag with you know return type within this curly braces you can type this is abc param let's just say this is xyz param and i say this is the payload for register okay now i can type some more description here say this function is going to get user register Okay, then we save this and the server on the patch will detect those changes and it will update our documentation. Let's take a look at that now what happens. Okay, there you go. So I've got this description tag here. I've got some other description for the whole function. And yeah, that, that's about it. And it actually shows you a lots and lots of things. So here I have a classes, for example, this matte color class. It tells me if this is a static type or what type of method. Everything you will see here. Now, if you want to show your structure of uh, code structure to any of your colleague, this is the best way to do it because they don't really need to explore any kind of code. They just go and click on these and they can see what are the selectors, types, constructor, what how the return types are doing. Okay, so everything is here. The only thing I want to show you is a routing because the routing gets really complicated in the bigger application. So for that, I will basically, uh, you will see the route. Generate the documentation and you will see it's really cool, okay? Uh, because the way I'm dealing uh, uh, with the routing in this application is a bit different. So I've got this navigation file that's just generates routing for me dynamically okay i'm not using the the standard way or you know general way people do it okay okay cool thanks for watching guys if you liked it uh like give it a like and then subscribe to the channel also support me by donating there's a link of the paypal if you really think this video is going to help you then yeah please uh, uh all the donation minimum even the one dollar is welcome uh, is more than welcome and if you are interested in development services uh, please contact us on services at mirzasolution.com details are in the description